Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For the sixth Saturday in Epiphany Tide. Tomorrow is the Feast of Transfiguration. The sixth Sunday, if you will, in Epiphany Tide. We come to the end of the Christmas season. The Christmas season which started way back in December with the four weeks of Advent and then the 12 days of Christmas and now the six weeks of Epiphany Tide. We will have the doors open. It is a feast of our Lord. Transfiguration, that is. And then because it is the feast of our Lord, we will have divine service. Where we will receive the very body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know indeed that we had Holy Communion last Sunday. And in this church, the tradition is in every other Sunday, uh, Holy Communion with a prayer service, of service of the word, usually matins in between. But here the Feast of the Transfiguration falls on a Sunday that would normally be for us just a Sunday to ponder the Word. But the Word that we are to ponder is the divine nature of our Lord Jesus Christ in, with, and under His body and blood for the forgiveness of your sins and mine. So, 9 a.m., the doors will be open. Please come. Please come and sing our Lord's praises with us and then receive his gifts. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of our Lord is to be praised. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. The Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. So let us pray. O Lord, keep your family the church continually in the true faith, that relying on the hope of your heavenly grace, we may ever be defended by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Again, tomorrow, Feast of Transfiguration. Let's end the Christmas season with a glorious celebration and the receiving of the forgiveness of our sins. 9 a.m., please come. You have a good night.